what's happening this is a quick little unboxing video this for my uh my filmmakers and all my youtubers and stuff uh if you watch my channel you know i do my vlogs and, and all that so and i, I want to get back on my music video stuff eventually and uh try to get something that might help a little bit so this is a uh, DSLR stabilizer. Uh, we're gonna see. It's, it's one of the little, little handheld ones and stuff. Little, guess I'd say it's a cheap one. It hit me up about twenty dollars, I guess. I had a few uh, eBay bucks, so I, I think I got a little cheaper. I think I had maybe like eight eBay bucks or something. I don't know. And. Let me see how this how this go. It it's supposed to balance like the camera and you do this, but it's still gonna film level and whatever. So I'm gonna figure out how to do this because I don't know how long it's gonna take me. I'm gonna figure out how to do this and then I'm gonna get back with you. So this is what it's looking like with everything put together. Uh, it's kind of off center because my battery is right here and it's a little heavy so I've made, tried to push it more this way as far as the adjustment and uh, I have all the weights on here because my camera is, isn't that heavy it's, it got a little weight to it so I'm trying to like fine tune it and etc let me see if if you move too much, like it, it might swing, but I want to try to do some little tests, like with with the stabilizer and without it, like walking and stuff. So I'm gonna go go outside and go try to test that out. But the hardest thing about this thing right here, that adjustment is hard as hell. Man, they, they got so many little adjustments and stuff, and they got so so many things like <laughs> you have to be a, a math major in geometry and shit like that to get everything lined up. This shit, this is is not easy to to me. To me, it wasn't. I don't know. Maybe some uh, other film much photographers and stuff have a better chance, but it didn't come natural to me. I'm still messing around with it. Uh, we're gonna see. So on my side, about to try to walk. See how it look. Walk and try to walk with a little with a little speed. I'm not even really looking at the stabilizer, so I don't even know how we filming. I'm not trying to even look at the camera. I don't want to try to uh mentally adjust it. So I'm just just walking, seeing what it do. Let me try to run a little bit, let me see. And I don't know how how that came out or not. Now I'm gonna take this off on the next clip and show you. Okay, so this time I just got the camera in hand. He's gonna be walking. See how the adjustment is. Right here, this is without without the stabilizer. Me just holding it in hand. I'm not looking at the camera. So I'm not trying to adjust anything. I wanna try to give an unbiased uh, opinion and see if the thing really is worth buying or not. Uh, now I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to run a little bit, jog a little bit or whatever. See how how uh, things move without the stabilizer. Just all right. So we're gonna do a comparative test and see see how that looks on side each other.
I still haven't perfected it. I'm still gonna have to mess with the settings and stuff a little bit because it's still sorry had a piece of string or something hanging from it but uh I still haven't messed with the adjustments all the way some stuff got to be adjusted because it still swings a little bit but from the like the little running test and stuff it it may weigh up more difference than I thought it would even even though it's not adjusted all the way right it still look way better with it than without it it's kind of heavy because I have all the uh all the weights on here I don't know if I need to take some of them off and adjust it a little bit because like the thing I'm going to be doing, like whenever I get back on my music videos and stuff, I'm not going to be the one filming because I can't rap and hold the camera in, in my hand. So I want other people to be able to film me and it still looks decent. Like a lot of people, they don't have no knowledge of filming. You give, just give them the camera, they're going to have it shaking all over. So hopefully the stabilizer will make an amateur who trying to shoot me make it look a little bit better like I'm not saying I'm a pro but if I film somebody video and I'm gonna edit it it's gonna look better than me giving anybody the camera and they filming me in my eyes if they don't have no knowledge of what they are doing so that was my goal in getting this but I might have to take some of these weights off because I don't want nobody on oh, getting tired they like ah oh, man I can't be holding this damn camera because I'm holding it right now and my arm getting a little tired but uh, I'm trying to adjust it, but overall, it took a long time for this damn thing to come in, but that was the sell on eBay tripping, and I procrastinated a long time in buying this, but it's I it's I it's like uh, it's kind of motivating me to want to go film a little bit, so if you, if you uh, filming other things, like I don't know about for vlogs, etc., like pointing the camera at yourself. I think you might just need like just a little stick or something, a little, uh, not stick, or uh, a little, uh, whatever to put under there and hold it. But if you film with other people or you film in a, in a vent or, or something, or something where you just need to be stable or you're going to be on the move, I, I would say, I would say it's a, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good thing, thing to buy. Damn, my arm hurting like a motherfucker. Shit, this bitch heavy. But, uh. Yeah, so that's my thoughts on it. That's my thoughts on on this purchase right here. Is it's alright. I guess it's, I guess it's worth a little twenty one dollars. I guess I paid for. It. But uh, fuck with your boy. Like, comment, subscribe. Gonna be the greatest or the most hated. Shit, killing my arm. Shit. <laughs> Peace out.